All right, so I'm going to be working on this program here called Easy Crack Me, and you can get that from Reverse KR or Reverse and KR. I can't remember the name. Um, I've already done it before, but I'm just going to do it again to demonstrate how you could complete this challenge or solve this challenge uh, with X32 TBG. Okay, so firstly, let's just run the program itself and we get this pop up and we type things in and we get this uh, incorrect password. So uh, that's a starting point for us. We know that we get a message which says incorrect password. So we go and search for all modules, string references. And we find here incorrect password. Just above we see congratulations, easy crack, new reversing, etc. So we could go to any of these two. Uh, in this case, I will set breakpoints at both of these. And another approach could be to go and search for all modules, intermodular calls. And here we would like to look for like a Windows message box or something like that. So we see two message boxes instantly. And you could look for more, but uh, if we go here, we see there's a message box at congratulations and there's another message box at incorrect password. So you could also set your breakpoints that way by looking at intermodular calls. Um, in case, you know, for some applications you might not get uh, explicit strings. Um, so you could look for message boxes and things like that as you're running through the program. Anywho, let's play, uh, run the program, we enter our input, and we get this uh, message box which says incorrect password. So yeah, this is pretty easy, it is a easy challenge, but what we want to do is we want to go and look at all of these compare um, we want to look at the conditions which are which are being met and which are not being met and the jumps that are being taken after the compare statements or test so <coughs> so let's set a breakpoint here because this jumps to incorrect password and wherever we see a jump to incorrect password, we're going to set uh, a breakpoint there. So these do not, so we could just let them pass for now. And this one also jumps. And so does this one. So we could come out of that and come out of this breakpoint. So it's these four breakpoints. Uh, these four instructions which would jump to incorrect password if we entered something that is other than the actual password uh, whether it's hard coded or there is some algorithm I'm um, not too sure just yet but uh, it's these four conditions that are being checked to see and uh, to dictate whether the jump is taken or not so Let's just rerun this. We have our password, which is not the correct password. And we stop at our first breakpoint. And it will jump if it's not equal to jump here. So uh, I will just change this instruction to jump if it is equal to or jump if ECX said. Okay, so we will uh, just continue. 
and then we hit our next breakpoint and I'll do the same thing here Uh, JECXZ looks at ECX and it will jump if ECX is zero but in our case ECX is not zero so we'll just continue so F8 to move through the next instruction and again here it will jump if it's not equal to um, I want to change this to JECXZ okay and again and we're going to change this to JECXZ so the reason I've changed all of these is because well I've run this program before and I know that by default it is set to meet these conditions the conditions that make it jump to this section um, otherwise what you could do is you could look at the state of VSP plus 5 when it's comparing that with 61 you could see uh, look for whether it matches the value that it's being compared with and you could look at text, text, test EAX or the AX and you could change the values of the registers as well you could change the values of the flags but in our case we're just changing the instruction to uh, JECX said um, so that it would jump if ECX is zero and in our case ECX is never zero throughout these instructions so at this point we've bypassed all of these checks all of these jumps and then we come to the congratulation message and we hear that sound and that is the congratulations so now we want to make a patch for this I suppose uh, so you could just go on patches patch file uh, desktop and I'll just name it patch is dot exe save it to the desktop and let's see if we run our patch we get congratulations so yeah it, it works um, now another thing we could do is another way that we could uh, create a patch is by opening the file in a hex editor and by going to these addresses and changing these values to these values and uh, x32 makes it easy for us to do that because it shows us exactly <coughs> Uh, where what the address is and what the bytes are being changed to so but we're not going to be doing that it's just this is a quick demo on uh, easy crack me which you could get from reverse and chaos so I'm just going to see if I could uh, find it for you guys this site and the challenge and it's I think it's this, it's the first one. Easy crack 